Okay, this is uh, Duncan Foley, and uh, we're going to be doing a tutorial uh, in Flexim 2020. Uh, it's called Downtime. It's a tutorial booklet seven, and it's an advanced. Uh, in this example, uh, we were looking at uh, developing a short Flexim model that simulates a cafeteria where we have one person working in the kitchen cleaning plates. At 9 a.m. every day, that person has an hour break. So uh, we need to uh, simulate him uh, moving away from the processor at nine o'clock and going to a specific point on our uh, in our Flexim model. So let's go to Flexim. And let's change from seconds to minutes. And let's um, go to the uh, tool tab, drop down menu, and we're going to the uh, timetable. Uh, let's go to the tables. Okay, so uh, we've got the timetable schedule uh, here, and we've got the dates, uh, and etc. Uh, we're going to change it to daily repeat. Uh, and we know that uh, we want uh, to sh uh, schedule uh, a downtime at nine o'clock. So let's just drag here. Oops, go a bit up. Uh, I'm going to change these. To nine o'clock. All the way to 10 o'clock. This is quite a good break. Okay. This is, let's just try that again. There we go. So let's apply that. Uh, now let's go to the the functions tab. So we want something to happen. We want to schedule something. So what do we want to schedule? Uh, some downtime. Uh, so it's a stop object. Well, we don't want to stop the object. Uh, we want to uh, travel to object, delay until uh, downtime is completed. Uh, we haven't really done the model yet, so let's just leave it operator one. And let's say apply it and OK. And we're just going to build our model. So it's, it's quite a very, very basic. Uh, model. We'll join it up using an A key. Let's give a creator an object uh, where we can uh, send uh, our operator to. So let's have a look at what we've got. Um, let's, yeah, let's use that, a base. It's just any old object. It doesn't really matter as, as long as it's got a name and we can uh, access it and we can send it to. Let's double click it. Uh, I could do it here actually. Let's do uh, so I'll sit our break. No, obviously not. Let's do it here and apply and OK. And uh, now we need to bring in uh, an operator. is operator and we're going to connect it to the queue using an S key we're 
go back to the toolbox now and uh, go get our timetable go to the functions and if we expand the uh, the option we created earlier which is uh, object one yeah, so that's down function uh, but we we can select on there and go and get the break because we want the operator to go to the break um, 3d object now, we haven't told it what this what object this timetable is referring to so if we go to members uh, we can select the thumb and yeah there we go so we've got the operator uh, will now uh, when it when it's called to uh, down function it will travel to the object called break and when it's finished it will resume um, resume whatever it was doing which is going to be doing the transport and let's just uh, make sure we've got the transport in there so we've got center port use transport so apply Let's just change the runtime rather than to, to, to just uh, ticking over minutes. Let's change it to day and time. So it's, it starts at eight o'clock. So if we run our model, he should eventually start transporting objects. There we go. And there is gone so he's done he's taken the object to the processor and then when it between nine and ten he's walked over to the break room uh, and uh, when it gets to ten o'clock he should go back to the queue and start picking up objects which he has done and um, this should repeat for tomorrow which just fast forward it uh, poor chaps walking through the night be absolutely exhausted uh, so nine o'clock there he goes for his break uh, and we'll stop and reset so hopefully that's taught you how to use the uh, timetable function and how to get um, an operator uh, to uh, stop work and go to a, an object and uh, for a, a certain period of time. Uh, the uh, timetable um, feature in older versions is slightly different where I've added a highlight in red. Uh, it tends to be a little grey hash thing and it's a reversal. Um, it presumes um, that where it's hashy is working and you have to delete them where it isn't. Okay, uh, I hope that was useful to you all. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.